Hello guys and welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Now I'm gonna show you how to get the Magma Blade in this video. Now before you know how to get the Magma Blade, I'm gonna show you what can Magma Blade do for you. Now I have two Magma Blades as you can see on each hand. Now Magma Blade deals fire damage additional to the main damage as it does physically. Now as you can see once you're dual bending it, it has a great combo attacks and as its main attack it has a, a one that has an additional follow up attack and it also has a lava at the bottom that does uh, enemy damage over time. As you can see right here it's getting additional damage over time. Overall it is a very good weapon. Now to get this weapon you need to head to the temple of Egret Grace in Volcano Manor. Once you get to the site, just head to the right side to the elevator. I'm gonna show you the long route how to get it. Now once you hit the elevator go from the top from here just follow what I do to get to the uh, enemy that will drop the blade. Now jump from here now avoid these uh, lava slugs, move out from there, jump down, go up and once you reach at the building just make sure that you avoid the this guy, just avoid that and there you have it. That is your first enemy with the magma blade, this is the enemy that will drop his blade for you. Now farming can take a little bit of time. It depends, since that base drop rate at 1% at 100 discovery. Now the second one that you're gonna need to kill is right just straight ahead. That one. Now it might take a little bit of time to get this magma blade, but it will be worth that. It's just like rinse and repeat until you get it. Because the gray side is close by, you can just repeat it until you get it. And once you get the magma blade, you will know it's true power. And it took me the longest weapon to ever farm. It took me around close to an hour to get my first magma blade. Now, if you have already unlocked the shortcut from the grace point, head to the left side, then go up the elevator. Now once you reach at the top of the elevator, then the first enemy will be on the right side. Go straight ahead to the right door and there will be the first serpent that has the magma blade. And be careful, if you are low level these enemies will be very powerful to make sure and they drop uh, a lot of other stuff so it might take a bit of time for you to get the weapon. Now to increase the damage of the weapon you need Fire Scorpion Charm to increase its fire damage, Shard of Alexander to increase its skill damage, and the Cloth Element if you're tool welding it to increase its jump attack damage and to even further enhance the jump attack you have the Raptor's Feather and to decrease the skill cost you will use this crest for that. 